We got a flat tire. That was the end of that. <laughs> Once and I had to call him because I needed a tow truck. <laughs> Anybody not show up tonight that you're hoping to see that you'd like to say something to? Oh, yeah, there was a bunch of them I'd like to see. Moggy Pritchard, who's living in Florida. She didn't come in. Um, Pat Davis, I have no idea where she's at. Who else? Yeah, I haven't seen her since 68. Uh, Greg Solon. Greg Solon. We miss his 50 Yeah, I'd like to see him. Sue, any of your friends not show up tonight you'd like to Same. Yeah. You guys are married. That's... We went together in high school. <laughs> All right. Any, what was your most memorable moment from your senior year? Getting out of St. Elizabeth's. <laughs> that was before or after high school? When I got out, that was our senior year. A great memory. <laughs> uh, most memorable. Did you play football? No, not in senior year. What kind of extracurricular activities other than your wife, Sue, did you get involved with? Uh, other girls. Did Sue know that? Uh, somewhat, yeah. Bimbo. Never got caught, but yeah. Anything really stand out? <laughs> yeah. uh, Just do anything nasty to any other high school? Just drag racing and uh, drinking beer, that's it. Where'd you, where'd you drag race? Where? Racetrack? Route 1? D.C., Coral Race anywhere. Track. The Mighty Mo in Queenstown. That's it. We used to get out to the Mighty Mo a lot. Now you're out busting people that do that, right? Oh, no, no, no. I supervise people that bust people doing that. <laughs> okay. That's all I need. Thanks okay. a lot. Okay, man. See I know. He looks familiar, too. Are you in the 68 class? No, 75. 75. <laughs> well, Back I'm, in Ohio. Get, I'm George Williams, and I get the award for the most change, the one that nobody recognizes. I'll accept the trophy later on. What do you do nowadays, George? I'm a musician, and I also sell computers to the government. But my true love is musician, but I only do it on weekends right now. Are you married? No. Any children? No, very single. How about it? Right. How about it? I need your name. Bob Riffle. What do you do now, Bob? Uh, rental and uh, seafood. Are you married? No, recently divorced. Children? Three. Daughter two, and two boys. You still live in the area? Yeah. Yeah, well, I just moved back to the area from, uh, spent a lot of time in Virginia and just moved back to the area just recently, last couple of years. And you are? Evelyn Lee. Evelyn, what do you do now? Well, I'm an Air Reserve Technician with the United States Air Force, I'm getting ready to go back on active duty. Are you married? No. Any children? I have a son, 18 years old, in October. Do you still live in the area? No, I'm out in Tucson. Tucson, Arizona? You came back for the reunion? How's everybody look? A lot of them look very different. Of course, I haven't, I've been back here, um, I guess, maybe one time, and that was nine years ago, and didn't get to see anybody, so it's nice to see them. A lot of them I still recognize. No. Any, uh, what type of extracurricular activities did you do in high school? Anything? Uh, no, nothing of, uh, no. No, I didn't. Man, football, drama, no, senior I had a time job through high school. You work? Yeah. Where'd you work? Uh, <laughs> gas stations, newspaper delivery, whatever do, make a couple dollars. Anybody not show up tonight that you're hoping to see that you'd like to say something to? Kit Buckingham, a little disappointed that he didn't show up. Margie Pritchard, I was hoping she'd show up since she's such great friends with some of the people that didn't make it to our 10 year reunion. Uh, there's the main two that I can think of that I really missed. Evelyn? I think Moggy mainly because we started first grade together. Um, her and Mary Jane Cross, you know, we all kind of started together and kind of hope maybe we'd all get together now. Where did you, uh, where did you guys hang out on Friday, Saturday nights? Besides McDonald's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was there somewhere else? <laughs> Not that I can remember. <laughs> Pooh Hall. <laughs> yeah, bowling alley later on. Yeah. All right. People's drugstore. A few people yeah, used to hang up there. Too often. Yeah. <laughs> Different groups. Yeah. Here's a big question. Favorite parking spot in Laurel? Where'd you go parking? You know, I don't ever think I did. I'm serious. 
I can't think of any place. Now, I used to like the old sanitarium, but that's because we had some good parties there. <laughs> Did you go? What about Van Dusen Road? Yeah. Never saw Van Dusen Road? Drove through it. <laughs> My mother would have killed me. <laughs> well, I'll show you Van Dusen Road. <laughs> um, did you go to your senior prom? No, I did not. Did you go to your senior prom? No. So your date's not here? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tell me about some more of the parking places. Huh? Van Dusen Road. Van Dusen Road. What kind of wheels did you drive? 68 Dodge Dart Swinger. What happened to it? Uh, finally drove the wheels off of it and uh, left it. Wasn't worth trading in after I was done with it. <laughs> all right, I think that's all I need. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey, first of all, I need your name, and if you're married, I need you. Make sure you give us your maiden name, all right? <laughs> that was a hard question. Your name? My name was Allison Fox. My name is Murphy Cross Landers. My name is Chuck Dresser. Okay, Chuck, what do you do nowadays? I work as a carpenter. I sing and dance and act. And I'm an illustrator. Anybody married? Married? Any children? You don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> I've lived with a man for 14 years. Any children? No. I don't remember him. <laughs> You'd remember if you had them. I'd remember. I have two daughters, Lily and Fiona. And I'm married. Well, I'm single. I've got a daughter. She's 18, just graduated from high school. Do you still live in the area? I live in Virginia. I live in Los Angeles, California. She's a star. Yeah, I live on the corner of 7th and Laurel, still raising hell. Where did you guys used to hang out on Friday and Saturday nights? Oh. Wait a minute, this is a strange crowd. They have said to. Um, and, and go ahead, guys. Well, well I, was, I tried Town Tavern for a while, you know. <laughs> and they changed that into Oliver, so I had to move along. But right, we, they we, we all used code. to go. They yeah, added a dress code. You had to wear a collar, so that threw in. me out. <laughs> but we, we used to all hang around at the teen club at one time. Right, in high school? Back in mean? the 60s. Yeah, yeah. Teen, club. teen club. We had games. I, you I know. was even in a band once. That's right. I have you know. I was a bass player. For the milestones. We used to have parties. Allison some, uh, had some nice parties. I, I did pajama parties myself. She had, yeah. she had great I had a pajama. Party. <laughs> Where was your favorite parking spot in Laurel? McDonald's. You went parking at McDonald's? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but she didn't eat Big Macs, you know. Uh, uh, up at you answer this. I'm you, gonna have to tell my secrets, but it had went, to be Rocky Gorge. Had to be Rocky no, Gorge. No, uh, did you ever go up by you? Go, you went out like Bond Mill Road, and then there was a what, like by a, your parents' house. No, no, Bond Mill Road, and then there was like a little uh, green pathway, kind of ro half road, half path. <laughs> oh. By the Hitchin' Post. Yeah, almost yeah. to the Hitchin' Post. Almost riding right Stable post. Road. Right. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, my I never sister got that lives lucky. there now. She owns the <laughs> What kind of wheels were you driving? I had a 64 Chevy, 327, four-door, my mom's car, until I beat it up, too bad to drive. Uh, I drove who, with, with that, whoever would give me a ride. 67 Gold Riviera. Yeah, it was. 457 engine, right? Positive traction, wouldn't get out of the driveway. <laughs> Anybody that you were hoping to see tonight that didn't show up you'd like to say something to? Oh, Rebecca Meese. I, I miss Yeah, you. I tell you, I, I saw Bill you. Murphy's picture in the paper, and damn, he was looking good. So I want to say, hey, Bill. <laughs> and a lot of other people, too. Hi. Any of them? Just a lot of other ones. Oh, I don't Holly, want to start mentioning Holly names, Palmer. so I'll leave somebody out. Holly Palmer. Holly. Yeah, yeah. Holly, Holly Palmer. Palmer. We both say Holly. hi, Holly. Yeah. Hi, Holly. Hi. What was the most memorable moment from your senior year? Ask them. I'm not a good person for this. Did you smoke, Allison, did you, did you smoke in the bathroom? Of course. She didn't. I know, I, I don't know. I never smoke cigarettes. Um, what, the, me the most memorable moment of getting my hair ironed by Mary Lou. And me. And you. And me. So, yeah. 
getting my hair ironed on. We're spray starch. Chuck, one moment stick out in your mind. Yeah, finally walking out that door and being able to start to grow my mustache and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, I felt did, naked back in. <laughs> you didn't even know her, right? Did you uh, Did you go to your senior prom? No. Is your date here? No. Did you go, Chuck? Yeah, I did. Is your date here? <laughs> no, she's not. When's the last time you saw her? Oh, three months ago. Who was your date? Sue Lewis. Oh, right. Oh, really? Sue Lewis. Where'd you go? Where was the prom held? Uh, I think we went to Leone's. It was at the school. After that. At Laurel High School. school. For dinner. And the, and the prom was at Laurel High School. I had to have her home by <gasps> I remember where 1 o'clock or something. I went, I went to the, the, junk, the junk anoo. Remember the junk anoo? Oh, God. Was that junior year? Spring. It's still there. It is? Oh, God. Metro it, destruction, everything. It's still there. You know what? I think I went to the junk anoo, too. Yes. <laughs> Wait, wait, did we go out together? Wait. No, no. I can't I swear. remember. All right, I think that's about it. Do we it. do okay? Great. Thanks. Thanks. We'll do more. Anything you want, we'll, we'll tell you. No, I just, I'm having a great time tonight. I'm glad we did this. I'm so glad you Were came. you here at the 10 year? No. I had to. Were you at the 10 year? For 10 minutes. Were you at the 10 year? <laughs> no, I wasn't. But I want to say one thing. I'll drink one for Miss Miley. Oh, yeah. May she rest in Ms. peace. Miss Miley. I think about her all the time. When I that was my favorite she teacher. Did. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> okay. She did. What are you, Ann Bob Whitehead. Bob, what do you do nowadays? Okay, I'm a mailman. Are you married? I was. Any children? Four. How old? 19, 16, and 10 year old twins. Okay. You having a good time tonight? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Were you here 10 years ago? No, I wasn't able to make it to that one. So, it's the first time you've seen a lot of people in 20 years? Right, yeah. Hey, everybody, I. I recognize just about everybody. There's only a couple people that have really changed to amount to anything. Anybody not show up tonight that you were looking forward to seeing that you'd like to say something to? No, not particularly. I just wanted to come and see every, anybody that came. What kind of wheels were you driving your senior year? Oh, uh, 65 Rambler. Where did you normally hang out on Friday, Saturday night? Oh, Usually around McDonald's or the shopping center. Did you go to your prom? Right. Yeah. Is your date here? No. No, I went with a girl from out of state. You remember where you went for dinner? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, it was uh, a restaurant down on Silver Spring called the Fire Fountain. Where was your favorite parking spot in Laurel? <laughs> Rocky Gorge. Ever get caught out there? Oh yeah, a couple times. To get in trouble? No, nah, they just told us to leave. All right. You still live in the area? No, I live in Front Royal, Virginia now. That's where you uh, deliver mail? Right. Um, was any one memorable moment from your senior year that really sticks out in your mind? Graduation. Graduation. Yeah. Did you do any extracurricular activities? Not to amount to anything, no. I was I was involved in the fire department rescue squad in town, and so I just didn't leave any time for for anything connected with the school. Did you have you been back to the fire department since? No, no, not since I was 19. Because I've been you're still volunteer, you know. Right, pretty much out of town all all the time. All right, that's all we need. Is <laughs> thanks a lot. I, I need your name. Frank. Balsam, yes, okay. Yeah. Rob Gummer. Rick Lloyd. Rick, what do you do nowadays? I'm a teacher and a football coach. What do you teach? Everything. Math, science, phys ed. Where? In Howard County. Are you married? Yes. Children? 
four. 12, 10, eight, and three. <laughs> Robert? Uh, I'm a production manager for a building developer in uh, Prince George's, Anne Arundel, Virginia. Are you married? Yeah, I'm married. I've got uh, four children. Uh, the oldest 18, the youngest is seven. Frank? Yes, I'm a programmer. I do a lot of uh, stamp licking and things like that. Not, not so much, uh, uh, well, anyhow. Uh, I have one, one child, 20 months, and uh, a wife to go along with the child. That's good, that's good. Where did you guys hang out on Friday and Saturday nights? Uh, mountains of <laughs> West Virginia, yeah. Southern Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. We yeah. did a lot, of, a lot of cave exploring back then. Uh, not so much camping, but cave exploring. I'll go along with you. Oh, cave exploring. Oh, cave spelunking. There you go. I, I don't know how to spell it, but I can say it. Spelunking, yeah. In so case he wasn't. But when you were in Laurel, let's say after a football game oh, or basketball oh, game, Mac you? McDonald's. Uh huh. McDonald's. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, really really I think Bill hung out. We, we need. Who's who's this? Listen to this. Uh, 19 cent hamburger. Was it 19 cents? My name Bill Catlin. Are you married? Yeah. Children? Two. Paige and uh, Candy. And what do you do now? What I, I'm recreation director. Who did you? And I are the babies of this class. We're the youngest two in the whole class, which was hell. Which was hell. It was the hot stuff of the school. And he drove. Uh, hey, he drove Austin to the Healy yard. In this drove. He drove an Austin Healy Sprite. And I got right. woke up one night about three years. Everything, yeah. every shirt was buttoned down. Damn right. Still is. Starch. Where's my button? Sorry, I didn't mean to make Starch. That's <laughs> No, that was me. Yeah, he had one. Yeah. And he I had get... a little white one. You had a little white one. I had... white? That well, was yours. Well, I was still one. It's still a little bit white. All right. Over here. Yo, baby. <laughs> Did you go to your senior prom? Senior prom? Uh, no, I was too busy riding around uh, drinking Millers or something like that. Yeah. What were you riding around in? Car. Mark one. Mark two. Uh, oh, uh, probably a, uh, a 59 Chevrolet. Did you go to your prom? Yeah. Your date here? Uh, Susie Boss. Well, that's who I went with. <laughs> Is she here? No, she's not. When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, probably 20 years ago. Rick? Did you go to your prom? No, I didn't. All right. So your date's not here, is it? My date's not here. None of us went. I didn't go. What'd you guys do that night? What did I do that night? I don't remember. I mean, it's a long time ago. 20 years ago. No doubt. Uh, Rolling Rock. I'm sorry to say. Rolling Rock. Remember Senior Hook Day? Oh, hell yeah, man. Tell us about Senior Hook Day. We all went down to uh, Rock Creek Park. Remember that? How many went? The whole senior class. <laughs> Probably 100 people. Yeah, at least. Anybody that you're hoping to see tonight that didn't show up, you'd like to say something to? Yeah, a couple of people. Uh, Henry Hammond, Wilbur, and uh, Wayne Gilmer. Never showed up tonight. Are they still around? Yeah. Uh, Frank Henry. What's that? Any, any of your friends uh, left? Uh, no, everyone showed up. I can remember. Which, did you play any sports? No, no. Uh, he did. It was a sports player right there. What did you, what'd you do in high school? Uh, I'd drink beer. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I can't remember back that far. It's been a long time. Rick? Hey, I don't need to be in this picture. What? Um, Play any sports or anything? Yeah, I Correct. played on the baseball team. How'd you guys do? Uh, Bill, how did we do in baseball? Come here, Bill. Uh, what year? <laughs> <laughs> Last year. year, we were like 8 0 for a while and then we the had bottom good, fell out. Yeah, yeah, we started good. Um, let's see, one year we were good. One year we were about 14 and 6, I think. I think that's when I was in 10th grade. And then we went 12 and 8, and then we went. 10 and 10 or something like that. What school did you guys detest the most in your league? Those Howard Who's County the, schools, right? We did detest Glenelg was where yeah, man. That Glenelg was a big rival. And, uh, Howard they, County. They painted the uh, water tower, remember? Yeah, yeah. That was a big rivalry, Howard County. We used to call them farmers all the time. They didn't like it. 
you guys ever do anything near their school? Or? I would never do anything no, like that. Me, would you do anything either. like that? No, because no. I, I teach up there now, so it wasn't yeah, me. No, no, we never did anything near their school. Okay. It got done, but we never did it. Yeah. All right. That's all I okay. Thanks okay. a lot. I need your name. I'm Douglas DiGiulio. And you are? John Young. And this she is my is. wife, Sylvia DiGiulio. My next question was, are you married? No. <laughs> yes, I am married. I'm married to Sylvia. Any children? Yes, I have two stepchildren, um, 18 and a half and 17 years old. What do you do now, Douglas? I sell industrial real estate and I do leasing in downtown Los Angeles. So you live in California now? I live in Los Angeles. I live in La Crescenta, which is in the hills above Glendale. John, are you married? Yes, I am. Children? Uh, one and a half. <laughs> That's one below the national average, I think. That's right, I'm catching up. <laughs> Give me the well, uh, what do you do now? I'm a gynecologist. Do you still live in the area? Yeah, I live in Montgomery County. Did you go to your senior prom? No, I didn't. You remember what you did that night? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Where did you normally hang out on Friday and Saturday nights? On Friday and Saturday nights, uh, let's see, sometimes pizza places, sometimes home. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas? John studied, which is why he got to be a gynecologist. <laughs> um, I did not go to my senior prom. Uh, Where'd you hang out on Friday, Saturday night? Mostly in my car. We used to do about 150 miles on Friday or Saturday night. Uh, Where'd you go? Where'd you drive to? Well, <laughs> the basic route was that you would load up with people, load up with a six-pack, and you would drive through the shopping center, south on Route 1, turn left through Frank's, go into McDonald's before it became the Big T, north on Route 1, then back over to the bowling alley, uh, and then back in through the shopping center. And the, of course, the, the idea there was to find everybody, which was no place, there's no, you could do that. So then we would drive out towards Fort Meade, and then we'd drive out to Burtonsville, and then we'd drive around in the woods for a while and get lost, and uh, then it'd be time to go home. Very few. Actually, I found out that I did very well with girls and didn't know it. It was because uh, I used to alternate about at least once every uh, month. I would take four or five girls in the car with me instead of four or five guys. And uh, That's got, more fun. that was more fun. And I realized that they really they knew it. It was like, wow, this is great. What, what kind of wheels did you drive? Uh, I started high school. I had I lived pretty far, so we had to, I had to, I got a car. I was lucky. And uh, I had a uh, 63 Corvair for a couple of years. And then I uh, upgraded, I stepped up to a 1964 Chevelle with, uh, that uh, Chuck Stanford built a great engine for it. Uh, it was very fast, very powerful. I wrecked it about five, six times. Um, it was beautiful. I wish I could see it today. <laughs> John, you remember what kind of wheels you drove around? I didn't drive around any wheels then. It was a big yellow bus. <laughs> right it seats side. about 50. <laughs> Four on the floor. <laughs> favorite parking spot in the area? Yeah, what's your favorite parking spot in the area? Will you take her there tonight just to reminisce? That's a great idea. It's um, still there. <laughs> I don't think it is. My, I actually um, didn't go parking in high school much. <laughs> And then the, my favorite parking spot actually was out at uh, Rocky Gorge Dam on the Howard County side in the uh, picnic grounds. But we used to actually go out and spot cars. We'd drive up behind people and turn the lights on and be obnoxious. Uh, that was uh, really a big time for me. Anybody not show up tonight that you were looking forward to seeing that you'd like to say something to? You know, there's, there's not just one person, except that I really would like to see anybody and everybody who went to our school. I, I would love to have seen Danny Leonard. Um, we lived together for a while after high school, after college, and uh, I just, there were so many things that we share with each other, and it's not important except that it's our life, which is like incredibly important. And um, I would just really wish that everybody who went to the school will just say, hey, I'm just as good a jerk as all those other jerks I went to high school with, and I'm going to show up for the 25th or the 30th and just show up. And uh, actually, I have a pitch we're going to make. I think we should start having combined reunions. 
I was talking with Jimmy Forsythe, and I, I think it might make some sense. John, anybody you were hoping to see tonight that didn't show up, you'd like to say something to? First of all, I agree with Doug. I really wish everybody in our class would show up. I think that just, you know, it's it's a period in your life that you're young and you're innocent and you you like to just see what 20 years have done to him. So I would say, you know, just about everybody. In particular, you know, several people, not in any particular order. There, there are a couple of people who actually were going to come that didn't come, like Sharon Quinn and uh, Sharon Cook, Joyce Binkley, Holly Palmer, you know, some of the girls that were real popular in our school. Yeah. Actually, I'd like to see Holly get well. I hear she's got some problems with her leg and her baby. So I hope that works out. That's all I need. Thanks a lot. Thank you. First of all, I need your name. Bonnie Schmel. Are you married? No. Okay. You still live in the area, Bonnie? I live real close. Real close, Bonnie. What do you do nowadays? I'm a reading specialist, and I'm president of the State of Maryland Reading Council. Okay, very good. 20 years ago, you remember it? Yes. It doesn't seem like it's been that long ago. What, uh, what's the one thing that really sticks out in your mind from your senior year? I guess the friendships more than anything else. How's the class look after 20 years? Pretty good. Pretty good. Anybody that you were hoping to see tonight that didn't show up that you'd like to say something to? Yeah, I was hoping to see Sharon Quinn. I saw her name out on the table, but I don't think she's here. I hope I haven't missed her. One, uh, any particular teacher that really uh, had an impact on you or class? Mrs. Stanton. I don't think I'd ever made it through English classes in college without her. Where'd you go to college? Towson University. All right. Um, where'd you normally go? Okay. Where'd you move back just a little? All right. I need your name. My name is Stuart Robbins. What do you do nowadays, Stuart? I work for CMP Telephone Company. My wife and I are Shackley supervisors. I do a little bit of car repair. Uh, we got a business name, R&R &R Associates, uh, and I put together this reunion. I was the chairman of the committee. Are you? Obviously, you're married. Right. Any children? No. Right. 20 years ago, you remember graduation day? Uh, vaguely. That was a long time ago. Did you do anything in particular after the ceremony? Uh, I went home and packed because shortly after that, uh, my father works for the government for the Fish and Wildlife Service. And he had to go out on business to Alaska. And for a graduation present, he took the family with him, and I got to go to Alaska for the first time. So I went home after graduation and packed, and uh, a few days later, we took off. Where at, uh, do you still live in the area? Uh, I still live in Laurel. I was born in Laurel, in the Laurel Hospital, which burned down after I was born. I don't blame them. And uh, now there's a different Laurel Hospital, a new Laurel Hospital. But I was born in Laurel, lived in Laurel until I graduated from high school, went away to college, uh, moved uh, away from Laurel to Beltsville, which isn't too far away, but I moved out of Laurel. And then uh, shortly after I got married, I moved back to Laurel, and it wasn't because I was looking for a place in Laurel. It was uh, because we found a house uh, similar to what we were looking for, and it was in Laurel, so we moved back to Laurel. Who's your friend? My friend, this is uh, Doug Horn. Here. That's right, my name is Doug Horn. What do you do now, Doug? I'm a mailman. I deliver the mail? Yes. You know what I, mean? I deliver the mail. I take the mail to the box and put it in the box. That's what I do. Where at? Laura, where else? No, that's not true. I'm lying. Look, are you married? This guy? Am I married? What's that? None of your damn business if I'm married. Any children? Don't worry about it, man. That's my business, not yours. Where'd you hang where'd you hang out on oh, Friday? Man, shut up, man. Who the hell gave you this microphone? This man right here is my friend. Stuart Robbins should have been the, the class president. But no, we were all dumbfounded by the wit of the other guy who was running against him. Uh oh, now it's on tape. And now, now this, in, in retrospect, we want to elect this man president of the class of 1968. Don't ask me no more dumb questions, man. What the hell I look Anybody like? not show up tonight that you're looking forward to seeing that you'd like to say something to? Well, there were two guys that I would have liked to see tonight, and one of them is. Uh, uh, isn't that something? I've done all this work and had Holly all these Palmer. names in my mind. Holly Palmer. Uh, yeah, Where are you, Holly Palmer? 
I was looking for you tonight, and you let me down. Did you go to your senior prom? No, I was uh, in a hospital. Did you go, Sue? Yeah, I went to the senior prom. Is your date here? Uh, no, she's not. She wasn't in this class. All right. Uh, marry that one. You remember where you went to dinner before or afterwards? Uh, yeah, but they changed the name of it, and I don't remember the name of it now. I think it was the Chaucer House. You obviously got in trouble, didn't you? What kind of trouble? You keep bugging me like that, man. What kind of trouble? Like a degenerate? <laughs> you get... who didn't belong to the class? I belong to this class. Where'd you go parking? Where'd I go? What do you mean, where'd I go parking? What's wrong with you, man? You, you're a pervert or something? Ask me where I go parking. What's wrong with him, Stuart? He wants to check out your spot. Hey, I can't believe it. Do you have a favorite spot, Stu? Uh, I won't reveal that tonight. I was always on. It's been 20 years ago. Well, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> that's that's been covered over now. They've uh, they've changed Laurel around a lot since 20 years. What kind of wheels do you drive? What kind of wheels do I drive? Did you drive? Did I drive? I didn't have wheels then. I borrowed my father's car. Remember what that was? Uh, we had a 1968 Chevelle station wagon. I remember I uh, cleaned it up and used that for the senior prom. Favorite teacher or class that really sticks out in your mind? Uh, Charles Toth was uh, a good teacher. He uh, made a dull subject of math interesting, and I understood everything in class, but by the time I got home, it didn't make any sense. All right. That's all I need. Thanks. Okay. I need your name, and if you're married, I need make sure you give us your maiden name, okay? Okay. I'm Diane Kakritz, my, and my married name is T. And your name? Emma Jo Castro McGee. Castro is my maiden name. Okay. What do you do now, Diane? I'm a housewife and a mother. Of how many children? Just one. How old? She's six years old. Emma J. Emma. <laughs> okay, that's good. EJ, what do you do nowadays? Okay, I'm a writer, a freelance writer, and I write fiction.